Hey, what's up guys? Mikas here for the EDM sessions, episode 67, and we keep on making some music live for your enjoyment. I hope you guys enjoy the POV where you can see everything that's happening. I'm trying my best to describe everything that's happening, but somehow when you're in the flow, it's hard to talk and keep the flow. So I'd rather keep the flow, make a really cool piece for you guys, and put it on our site, We Make Dance Music, along 5,000 other DAW templates. So I take the project. Just finish it, round it up a little bit, make a better mixing, put it on our site, we make dance music.com, and newly added. Also, gonna make a stamp pack with all the audio files separated, all the MIDI, so everybody else can also enjoy loading the track that I'm gonna make now in the dot. Today, we're feeling pretty relaxed. So, today, we're gonna move on into a 88 BPM orchestral deep chill out kind of vibe you know it's different i know maybe you guys expected some banging idiom guys you need to chill I mean, you need to chill <laughs> like everybody else need to chill with this virus thing and everything just chill out guys you know stay home have a good time so yeah what i've done is i loaded some chords uh those are made by one of our producer on music.com and i put like a simple basic pad it's called perfect pad and then i'm gonna start building on it so we're gonna have a listen Play the whole thing but I get I guess that you get the idea I get a second layer here this is this it's deeper so I'm gonna mix those together properly and then I have an effects here which I will start mixing right away so sometimes the goal in, in those type of uh, of track is really to, to create a feeling you know without having not, not too much elements and, and it's just really to me a feeling this one's gonna be very very slow 88 bpm usually i go 100 105 today i just like hmm, 88 bpm seem to be a good bpm to to do this so so have a decent start to a track So I just want to look because if not it's clicking as you heard you might have heard me Andrew here cut off here don't really want any of this oh yeah if you guys didn't know I'm a, I'm a really I love sound design and synthesizer since I really started producing music back in 1999 with uh, Rebirth and the 303s and, and the 909 and the 808. It, it's always been something that I'm really fond of to tweak everything, the sound. I had many synths, supernovas and, and always loved this. I had a few versions of the virus too, the keyboards, you know, if you guys know this. Cheers. So this is good. Let's bring in the effects. So basically those chords are exactly the same as the pad up there, they're just chopped. 
So this pad I'm gonna use definitely not to this intensity. <laughs> so a nice pad. It's a bit too this one. This one I think it's bold. It's too much. I want it smooth. I want it to be in the back. The bold is amazing, but this is, this is the richest is, is, is the nicest to hear when you just want to impress yourself. Might not always be the best choice for a track. You need, need to leave some room a little bit. However, lush, rich. It's because the bold is white, it's just there, it has this presence, so it is bold, as a matter of fact. Okay, to go with that, I'm gonna replicate this, and then I'm gonna go into uh, orchestral. I'm gonna go into percussions. I'm gonna go into the orchestral kit here. I'm gonna load this in, and I'm gonna see if we can. like this. this, I think I can make it myself. So I'm gonna try to record a bit of a drum pattern here. Oh, this is slow. This is uh, really, <laughs> it's really slow if I, oh, oh, that's cool. If I compare to, you know, the 128, in the last episode. This is really slow, but this is cool. It's it's relaxing. This is chilling. Let's chill some time. Meditate, you know. Then. the progressions to be very present but I think only only just big big instruments are not enough take this midi here and like a big like a big symbol I'm 
Ecuador. 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 I, I feel I'm super relaxed already, so this is nice to make music like that and can present to you know some, some bangers. I don't know how the reverb is still there. I think this is the deepest of them, so I'll use it super slowly in the background. I'm gonna feel it a little bit. that with the compressor very slow release on that more compression fast attack and more I cut this scent to me it's taking too much room, so I cannot really create because it's just picking too much of the frequencies. Something with this, I'm gonna right away cut the lows. And... As we're progressing into this smooth melodic journey my slow but at the same time Too many of the symbols because of the massive delay. And again, we'll check what else can we. That's gonna be our hi hat, let's say. I mean, you know, it's an anvil, <laughs> it's pretty cool, but uh, I think we're gonna get something great out of that. Oh, not what I want. 
Thank you. Thank you. So that's just about what I was looking for. But like I said, I'm gonna put a big reverb on it. Because everything has to be relaxed and chill and, and you know. Got a nice bass pad here. Let's look at the frequencies a little bit. It's a bit more mid lows than really sub. So I'm gonna try to pick a little bit more of the mid lows to really fill the space, you know, so people get the vibrations. Then I'm gonna do what I do, what I did at least on my uh, album Explorers. I use that a lot, so I, I, I take uh, this pad here, and I'm gonna create an arpeggiator with it. So I'm gonna take it, gonna take a MIDI effects. I'm gonna do an arp. Change the preset of this because I want like a smooth, probably key type of sound. And then I'm gonna load the volume. So if you guys like that type of music, you can check out my album Explorers, Mikas, my name. Nice to meet you. Mikas Explorers on all platforms. It's like a chill ambient. I did like a whole one hour mix that goes through different phases. Chill, electronica, orchestral, ambient and stuff. A bit like uh, I've been compared to Jean-Michel Jarre, thanks to the people who said that, Jean-Michel Jarre, maybe Evangelist and stuff. Well, I like this kind of stuff too, you know? So we have the, the sound here. I'm really, I'm already hoping guys that I can top this one off with a lead so because I hear this and I'm like wow this is this is great is everything to the chords look super complicated to me that is not a composer so I'm looking at this and I'm like oof okay this is gonna be <laughs> It's gonna be a bit tough to be. So let's check this one out a little bit. Cut it to the basic mid lows. So you can hear where I want it to sit. So with this, I could basically cut this and cut this. Just this I love. Let's take a lot of room. Let's see if I can do something on top of all this.
like uh, it's gonna be a bit too complex for me to try to write a melody from scratch for this so I would do I'm gonna check out the keys that I have in here I want to just follow this 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 melody is too slow Use the keys and we'll try to recycle them and, and create something. Hopefully, that's gonna be cool. Mostly, hopefully, that's gonna be great. <laughs> Put an ARP on this could be cool. Guys, this is episode 67, guys. So we're gonna put in some work into this this little piece here. I think it's worth it. So because the chord progression is so complex and there's so much variation, you know, I don't want to mess it up. And I still want to keep a certain balance. And I think I think this type of music doesn't need to be super melodic. It's so slow that you know you just want to slowly wave the people into some different sound. You know, it doesn't have to be so. I like the harp though. So the harp does definitely give an extra dimension that is doing the right thing. At least I like to think so. I'm gonna do something that's about the same. Maybe not this one, which I could. Take you it a little bit. Okay, one last. 
last little part here. Something a little bit similar. This one is, is stretching it a little bit, so what I will do is I'm going to do this. Stretching it in the sense that tone. acceptable. Now that we have something I think I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna try to go into some sounds or something. So I'm gonna go pad and I'm gonna go this uh, is a mysterious I'm gonna fast attack so This is like unbelievable. Thank you, Apple. Because I have a lot of things to say sometimes my computer is not there, but the scent, I mean, wow. What a masterpiece. Oh, yeah. This is it. This is it right there. Bring back the R. Cop in the pad. All in. Mix the pad a little bit. Cut the lows. And then some more intensity, create some 
waves a little bit. So I think I will automate a little bit of that. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to touch this, and then I'm going to play with the cutoff of our, like the, the keys. Have a look at the automation and go here and do my track zoom. Do A for automation. Hello, A. Oh, I'm still on musical typing, not gonna work. I'm gonna go here, pick up my cutoff, drop this too many points, go here, just bring it up in the middle like a smooth square scarab. You can also curve them in different ways, but. We're at 10 track and we're definitely far away, yeah. this this all worked very well together guys So we could easily make that into a track, I mean, give me, you know, an hour or two to make some really slow, nice, deep transitions, but I'm going to turn that into a template and you can download it on our site, www.bringdancemusic.com. since we're at uh, 34 minutes that's gonna be it guys for episode 67 of the EDM sessions I hope you guys enjoy please check out our site wemakedancemusic.com if you got a second and you produce music you might want to upload some stuff because we're a marketplace can buy or sell some template sounds and stuff like that we've got over 8,000 items from 400 producers yeah and of course the most important thing as always Hey, this sounds good with you guys.